EVT, an automotive test equipment and repair service. Your place where you can make one call to repair it all. The machine is completely unique, from the compensation system to a trolley that's easier to use than anyone, to a cutting head which is intuitive and quick and easy to use, the range of vehicles you can get on, to the, the very simple adapter. The upgrades we've made recently to the trolley have just really changed the, the feel and the usability. We've improved both the ability to lock the lathe in place for anti-rotation capabilities with basically a rotor and caliper design that has a hand-operated lever. And as far as rotating the lathe when you need to move it to the upside down position for the opposite side of the vehicle, we've installed two sealed bearings and it has made the operation very, very smooth. Anticipating the shift to larger rotors, the 9.2 has an extra six tenths of an inch reach to easily accommodate the rotors of even medium duty trucks. Getting on everything from a Kia Cephia to a GMC 4500 or, you know, an international, like one machine that's that's a pretty good trick. With the introduction of the PFM 9.2 with Speedlock cutting head, uh, we've really taken it a step forward by eliminating the need to use any tools other than your hands uh, during the operation of the lathe. And the Speedlock uh, makes it a one-handed operation. The 9.2's sleek body hides an extra eight pounds of mass, which gives dampening and stability that rivals the heaviest bench lathe. There's a reason machine tools are heavy. Mass does an excellent job of suppressing vibration. Why is damping vibration important? Why would anybody care? Well, when you have less vibration, you have a finer surface finish. This lathe is so stable that when it's cutting a rotor, that you can actually balance a penny on it. We've even added an optional LED screen that gives a digital accounting of runout so you always know the accuracy of your cut to within a thousandth of an inch. As a product manager for ProCut, I, I'm just really excited about the new DRO. The fact that we're now going to be able to show technicians exactly the lateral runout they're achieving in initial testing is just showing them value. Here's a quick demonstration of how the ProCut PFM 9.2 works. For this demonstration, we're cutting an SUV but bear in mind the setup is exactly the same for any vehicle, from subcompact to dual wheel pickup. The way the PFM DRO works is, is really quite simple. To mount and cut with the machine, there are four setup steps. The first would be you select and mount the proper adapter. The second step would actually be attaching the machine through our direct connect drawbar to the adapter. The third step would be truing the machine up to the wheel, or as we call it, compensating for runout. And once you have the runout compensation process completed, you're making your cut. It's really that simple. There's just four basic steps to use in the lathe to literally complete the process from start to finish. When the cut is complete, the technician will remove the machine and proceed to the other side of the vehicle. The beauty of this machine is that it's not only simple, but it's accurate. Accurate enough to deliver brake work that exceeds manufacturer specifications every time. The technicians love it because it's easy to set up. The shop owner loves it because he knows as long as the green compensated lights are coming on, he knows the job's going to be done right.